streaming on WFSB+. This is Eyewitness News at 7. And first up at 7, the body cam video that is now being investigated. Thank you for joining us here. I'm Stephanie Simone. Today, Nagatuck police released a video from the attempted robbery arrest. In it, we see an officer tasing a suspect three times at points while the suspect is apologizing. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo is breaking it down for us. Well, as you're about to see in the video from this October 14th arrest, it's a white officer screaming profanities at a black suspect, tasing him not one, not two, but three times. And the suspect apologizes between volts of electricity, incapacitating his body for up to six seconds at a time. Now, it all began with a confrontation with police, a confrontation that started off like this. Shut the thing off or die! That's a Naugatuck police detective identified by the last name Williams threatening the life of 23-year-old Gerald Day. The Waterbury man was accused of stealing beer from a stop and shop in Naugatuck and getting into a fight with store employees. The car Day is in peels off, hitting a cruiser in the process. A short time later, another Naugatuck officer, Nicholas Kios, a 13-year member of the force, finds the car crashed and comes face to face with Day. On the ground! A muffled apology as Day hits the ground. Kios screams for Day to get onto his stomach, but as he rolls over, on your stomach now! Okay. On your stomach! A six second taser blast. Day apologizes again. Sorry! Put your hands You're getting another ride. You're getting another taser and put your hands on your back. With one hand behind Day's back and the other moving to meet it, Officer Kios follows through on the threat. The officer was uh, placed on paid administrative leave. He is no longer acting in his capacity as a police officer. Naugatuck Police Chief Colin McAllister says the incident was caught during a supervisor's review, department policy in any use of force arrest. I think that this is, again highlights the, the stress that officers face out there. But stress affects officers differently. This is not the first time Kios's actions have been called into question. This officer does have a disciplinary history, the extent to which I can't get into today. Still, the community stakeholders are lauding the department's quick action and willingness to start a dialogue. We feel it's better to bring the facts to the public than to sit back and have drama on social media and talk. Now, criminal charges could stem from this incident. It's under investigation by both state police and the Waterbury State's Attorney's Office. In Naugatuck, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.